up from my window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow Okay, so it is Sunday, and I told myself that I'm going to start meal prepping. If you haven't noticed, which you probably have, I have gained a little bit of weight recently. Um, it feels like a lot of weight. <laughs> like, honestly, like 20 pounds. I am 5'7 to 5'8, though, so I feel like it doesn't show as much on me, but it's definitely there. I can feel it, and I can feel like my face is getting a little chubbier, and I'm also just feeling like low energy and I just want to kind of get a handle on it um so I noticed that one of my problems is I think I don't eat enough because I'm not overeating I'm not eating huge portions I don't eat terribly bad let me see if I can put you somewhere because I'm like I can hold my arm up much longer it's a weird angle by the way I bought this water bottle I'll have it linked down below because I noticed I wasn't drinking a lot of water at all and the glam farmhouse on instagram i love following her she like recommended this and it has helped me so much so it's 32 ounces and it tells you like what level to get to and then you refill it so if you drink how much it says on here you'll drink 64 ounces in a day i feel like that's still a little bit low so i do try to refill it three times but it just like keeps me on top of it and then the fact that it's like a a straw i drink a lot more okay i need to put you down somewhere Hold on, let me grab like a candlestick or something to put you on. Now I wanted to take a quick moment to say today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. And Skillshare is a huge online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative people. I get a lot of questions on how to grow on Instagram or YouTube, and I've actually watched tons of really informative videos on Skillshare that I feel like helped me. One of my absolute favorite courses I've watched on there is called Social Media Stardom by Lolo Jones. She goes into so much depth about the algorithm, engagement, and she even shares apps that she recommends for editing. And on Skillshare, you can search so many different creative topics and so many videos come up to help you learn new skills or develop existing ones. So whether it be Instagram, YouTube, cooking, graphic design, film and video, they have it all. And the best part is Skillshare is kind enough to be giving away two free months of premium membership to the first a thousand people who click the link in my description box and after that it is only ten dollars a month so if you're ready to start learning that skill you've always wanted click the link down below okay let's get back to the video okay i've recorded this like 10 times i keep talking too much i always do that so basically what i was saying is i think the problem why i am gaining um a little weight recently is one i'm not eating enough and then two when i am eating i'm like in a rush or i'm trying to do something with william or i'm working on a video and i'm not making something i'm just grabbing something from the pantry because by the time i remember to eat it's because i'm feeling nauseous and lightheaded and i'm like why am i nauseous and lightheaded and then i'm like oh yeah i haven't eaten since like 10 a.m it's 5 p.m so i I'm not someone that has like a hard time with eating healthy. I actually really enjoy like onions are one of like my favorite foods. I love zucchini. I love I put spinach and like everything. It's just a matter of making it. So I told myself that I am going to meal prep so that I'll actually eat the food because like I said, I don't have a problem with like eating healthy. I actually like to eat healthy and um, it's not like, oh, I need to stay on track or anything like that. It's like pure laziness or in the moment when I'm trying to make something and then William needs something and, and normally I'm like, whatever, it's not worth it. Like, I'll just grab these chips or <laughs> these crackers. And so I am sitting down and I am on Pinterest and I am looking at meal prep ideas. I kind of have an idea of what I want to do, but I want it to be so that I have some variety. So I got some great ideas from Pinterest because I don't want to just have like chicken and or I do want to have chicken and veggies every day but I want them to have different flavors so that it actually tastes good hold up just a minute been looking for some help just to find myself Like a thousand times before can't take this anymore okay so what i'm thinking the best way to do this is i'm going to be writing out every meal 
and purple that I want to do and then all the ingredients that would go into that meal and then at the very end I'll look at all the ingredients and write a grocery list that way I'm not like I don't need to buy chicken for every meal if I buy a good amount of chicken you know what I mean so um trying to kind of get organized in that way Ooh, cauliflower rice instead of regular rice cha-ching sign me up Cause I've been looking for something to change. Oh, I'm so excited. <gasps> I feel healthier already. Thoughts into motion. Been waiting way too long. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I have most of like the, what would you call them? Bowls or like meal containers planned out. And of course, this is just for the next week or so <laughs> and I'm gonna make them for me and James and like I said it's my first time so don't be too hard on me okay so now I've taken this stuff and put it into a list so this is everything that we need to get for the meal prep um this is just other stuff that we need for like will or stuff like that mm -hmm. um and then I'm gonna go to home goods I need a couple more meal prep containers and then I can't find my zucchini like noodle zoodler thing so I'm gonna see if they have one there for cheap Okay, so we went to Walmart and we got everything we needed. Actually, scratch that, we went to Aldi. And then anything that Aldi didn't have, we went to Walmart, but there was only like five items that Aldi didn't have. So we got so much stuff and it was like $120. It was a really good deal for how much we got. So I wanted to show you some of the containers I got. So I got these really nice glass ones from Amazon. They were pretty, pretty reasonably priced, I think, and they have these. I'll have them um, in my Amazon store link down below. They go like that and they like really lock on there and lock on good. But I liked these because then I can separate it. So for this meal that I'm making right now, I have the chicken marinating in a blush wine vinaigrette. And then, so I'm going to have the chicken and then I'm also going to have some spring mix. I don't think I'm going to put the spring mix in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little like I don't know if it's called a Greek salad or what it is where I'm going to dice up um, red onion cucumber and tomatoes and let that marinate in a red wine vinaigrette and then I'm gonna put that in one of these have some red pepper hummus and then the chicken and then whenever I go to eat it I can kind of toss it onto some spring mix and make a salad and so this is the first one I'm gonna make I'm so excited Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far. So I diced up the cucumber, the cherry tomatoes, and the red onion, and now I'm going to get the red wine vinaigrette, I think is what it's called. This stuff on this is absolutely amazing. So this is gonna be like our kind of Greek bowl, I guess, where we will have this with the chicken and some spring mix and some roasted red pepper hummus just a little don't want to get too crazy and then i might sprinkle a little mozzarella on top i'm not a feta fan though So I'm putting 
putting about a tablespoon in each. Um, James is like a big, mm, like a big sauce guy. I don't care as much, so I gave him a little bit more than I'm gonna give myself, but just because we're not really doing any dressing other than what this has already been sitting in, I did wanna give him a little bit of this. And so now I'm gonna put the chicken in. Okay, so these are the finished, um, the first meals all done. So we have our chicken, cucumber, uh, cherry tomatoes, red onion, some spring mix, and some red pepper hummus with a little salt and pepper on top. Oh my goodness. Oh, and this is in that, um, I mixed the red wine vinaigrette and a blush wine vinaigrette. That is so yummy. So, oh, I'm so, I'm so proud. And this is what mine look like. For my very first time meal prepping, I think this is good. I think this is a success. For, so I'm going to put the lids on these and then get started on the chicken burrito bowl ones. Okay, so now we are going to do like the burrito bowls. And so what I actually ended up getting instead of rice is riced cauliflower. And I'm not a huge fan of cooking things in the microwave, so I actually made it on the stovetop. So there is a stovetop option if you're like me. And this stuff is really good. So we're gonna use this instead of rice to make it just a little bit healthier. So we're using rice cauliflower. We're gonna have black beans, some corn, uh, some salsa. I already cooked the chicken and I like seasoned it with taco seasoning. And um, then I'm gonna do like a little cheddar cheese as well as, wait, is that it? Oh, I'm also going to saute some onions because we love onions, so I'm gonna add that. I wish I had green peppers and I would do that as well, but I think I actually forgot to get some. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys as I make this next meal. I wanted to show you that I did finish ricing the cauliflower, and this is, or not ricing, cooking the riced cauliflower, and this is what it looks like, and I did add like a lot of onion powder and garlic powder. This knife uh, is so dull, I hate using it, but I'm just gonna go really slow. Every other knife we own is in the dishwasher right now. Okay, so I'm just kind of deciding how I'm putting this as I go. So I'm thinking I'll do corn and black beans, cauliflower, rice, and chicken, and then maybe the salsa over here. So with the corn, I just put it directly in there, and now I've rinsed the black beans. And the cans say there was about three servings in each can, so I'm filling up, trying to fill up about three with each can. James is about to head to work, so I'm actually going to make his first and then I'll make mine. I don't like being on my own. I could use someone to hold. I've been trying to fill the void, but my bed is getting cold. Cause I don't have you, I don't have us, at least not anymore. You said you had to go away just to figure out who you are. And I'm in this empty house with your pictures on my wall. But I don't have you, I don't have us, at least not anymore. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. Um, I might make the other ones a little bit different, but James has to run to work, so I had to throw this one in here, and I was trying to make it quick, but I actually like the setup I did. So I did black beans, corn, some sauteed onions, this is cauliflower rice, some grilled chicken that I just cooked in the oven at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes until it got to 165, and then some salsa, and um, so I think he can just kind of toss this all in a bowl at work and heat it up and it'll be really yummy. I'm gonna put some cheddar cheese on mine. 
Okay, so excuse the mess. I have been cooking up a storm. I wanted to show you guys one of the other meal prep ideas that I am going to do. I'm making myself lunch right now, so I'm not gonna show myself like putting it in there quite yet. So what I did is I just made um, spaghetti squash in the oven. So I have that right here. And then I also sauteed some diced onion and zucchini. I have some pasta sauce going right here that I added some more onion to, as well as like some seasoning and stuff. And then I took one of these super yummy Parmesan crusted chickens um, from Aldi. They're like frozen. And I put a slice of pepper jack cheese. So for my lunch, I'm actually going to put um, spaghetti squash with the zucchini and the onion and the pasta sauce on top of here, sort of making like a chicken Parmesan. Um, obviously it's not the healthiest, but I have now been eating so healthy for the last few days, so I figured I could have a little bit of this because I love it. But what I was thinking for the meal prep, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of this in each container with some pasta sauce and some of this, and then I'm also going to make some ground turkey as the meat maybe saute some spinach but i wanted to show that idea as well because super yummy and you're using spaghetti squash instead of actual spaghetti noodles we could sit and talk all night we just let the good times pass and got caught up in our fight i say i don't mind but that's a lie I thought we'd work it out hi guys so it's pretty late <laughs> i'm editing this video and i just realized I do not have an outro for the video and originally when I was planning out this video if you noticed in the beginning when I had all the meals I planned on doing these dinners and then also doing some breakfast recipes but then when I was editing I realized it was getting kind of long and it would be like a 40 minute video if I put in the breakfast recipes as well so if you're interested in seeing some breakfast meal prep recipes definitely let me know down below but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the three different meals I made we really love these I actually ended up repeating this like I think the week after and doing an additional sorry I'm out of breath doing an additional week of everything we didn't get sick of anything because I think there were so many different flavors and it was all really really good so I was really proud of myself I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe got some inspiration and just we're entertained for a little bit. Also, thank you so much again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Like I said, guys, if you click the link down below in my description, the first 1,000 people will get two free months of a premium membership, and then it's only $10 a month after that. And truly, I have watched so many courses on Skillshare. I used them a couple years ago when I was really into like trying to find different ways to grow on YouTube and Instagram. And it was really, really informative for me. And then recently I watched a couple of productivity videos and then also a couple of Instagram videos because I feel like I always struggle, struggle with Instagram and like what to post because I'm not a big like take pictures every day person. So it's just been really informative for me and I really liked it. So if it's something you guys are interested in, definitely click the link down below. But thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I feel like the video kind of cut off abruptly. I'm not sure where my mind was going with that and stopping the outro and anything. This video was actually filmed months ago, pre-COVID and everything. <laughs> That's why you hear me say that we went to Home Goods and Aldi and Walmart all in one day. And I filmed it and then I think I filmed this in the beginning of March and then COVID hit and I didn't feel comfortable posting a meal prep video talking about all these foods to go and get when it was so hard to find anything at the store at the time and like all the food was getting sold out and there was no toilet paper and so I didn't end up um, editing it or anything because I just felt like it was a weird time to post it. So I felt like now was a good enough time that I could put it back up if people were interested in meal prepping or anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I've said that a million times. I must be really tired. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the love on my pregnancy announcement video. Oh, you have no idea how much it means to me. I have read every single 
comment. I went into the video intending to respond to them all, but I cannot believe how many comments I got. You guys are just amazing and like all the prayers and leaving your experiences. I really feel like so happy. I'm an emotional pregnant person right now, so I won't talk too much about it. But okay, you guys have a great day. I keep talking. Goodbye.